Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my very first YouTube video of 2022. I cannot believe we are here already. I'm kind of hoping that this year maybe just goes a little bit slower than the last two. I wanted to say a belated Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you all. I hope you had an absolutely amazing time, lots of food, lots of family and got absolutely spoiled. I definitely got spoiled and you guys know I love doing haul videos so of course I wanted to share what I got with you all but I know there's always the bad stigma around what I got for Christmas videos so I asked around and 99% of you said you wanted to see this video so I am doing that for you today. Just a little disclaimer even though I feel like we don't need to do these anymore but there's always that one person so no I'm not showing off I'm extremely grateful for everything I got and I also spoiled my family and my partner and I absolutely love buying presents for people as well so it's not just about receiving it's also about giving and just spending quality time with family so I just like sharing this stuff with you guys so let's just jump in. So I'm going to start off with what my boyfriend Flickr got me. He absolutely spoiled me and I absolutely spoiled him and it was just nice to have someone this year who wanted to do that for me just as much as I wanted to do for them. So the first two things is these pop figures. Now I have wanted these for years. I did not expect him to get me both of them, but he said he couldn't choose and he knew that I'd love both of them. So he just thought, why not? So for those of you who don't know, Tomb Raider is my absolute favorite game and I've never been able to find these in store. I don't know if they ever hit the stores or if they just sold out really fast. I do find Tomb Raider merch is quite hard to get. So I am absolutely obsessed. We've got a, a sort of newer version of her and then a really like OG classic version of her. And I don't even collect pop figures. I just think they're cool. And I've always wanted these ones because she's my queen. Now moving on to the next thing, uh, it is also a Tomb Raider thing. I have wanted this for so long. I'm pretty sure one of my viewers on stream mentioned this to me and ever since I've been waiting for it to come out and then I completely forgot about it for a bit and then it was getting close to Christmas and my family were asking for ideas and I was going to suggest this and then Flickr was like, no, don't tell them to get you that, you know, just in case. So I did have a little bit of a feeling that he was getting me this one and I am so excited. Not only is this book Tomb Raider, it is also very, very beautiful. I do love cooking and baking as well, although I don't know if I'm actually going to do too much of that. I just really wanted to own this. And inside it's just got really pretty pictures and sort of stories about the locations. And then it's not something that you like eat or cook in the game because you don't really do that but it's mainly just dishes that come from the areas that you visit in the game so I think this is amazing I love it I'm obsessed it's a perfect gift and I'm just so happy that I own this I am going to treasure the crap out of this and honestly I'm going to try and maybe use it in some streams or do a YouTube video where I make one or two things out of here so if you want to see that definitely let me know they also make these cookbooks for a couple of different games and I think one of them was Fallout and I know now Flickr has his eye on that one his birthday is coming up though hmm now the next thing is right next to me but I can't exactly pick it up. It is one of those really big mouse pads, the ones that go underneath your mouse and your keyboard. And of course, as you can see, it has LED lights around the edges. I just love anything rainbow, anything that lights up. It makes me very, very happy. So this was perfect for me. And I've always wanted one of these because I was rolling with a mouse pad underneath my keyboard and underneath my mouse. So this makes much more sense now. <laughs> Now saving the best for last, he also got me this beautiful anklet. He was so stressed about this. He asked everyone at work, cause he works at a jeweler. He asked all the girls in the house, his mom, his sister, everyone and everyone said it was cute that it was perfect and that he didn't need to worry. And yet he still wanted to show me and get my approval. And I said, nope, I want it to be a surprise. I don't want to see it. And when I opened the box, I was blown away. He absolutely nailed it. He didn't have anything to stress about. I am never going to take this thing off. It is, it is just beautiful and I feel so loved and I feel so special and so spoiled and I, he just, he just nailed every single gift and he's just perfect. Now as if I wasn't already spoiled enough, his family also spoiled me and got me this beautiful gold bracelet. So it is absolutely stunning. I am obsessed. It is dainty and beautiful. And really it's just perfect for me because I never have to take it off. I like to wear jewelry that means a lot to me, which means once it goes on, 
I never want to take it off unless it breaks it is not coming off. They also got me these adorable little huggies here, which as you can see actually match the bracelet. And these are perfect. I really wanted something that I could just put in and forget about, but I wasn't going to feel because usually when I put in earrings and I sleep in them, I wake up and my ear can be a little bit sore. I think probably because they've been shitty quality, but these obviously are gold and I've had them in for over a week and I have not felt them. So they're absolutely perfect. I love them. Again, like I said, so spoiled and absolutely perfect. The final thing that they got us was just some cheeky gold class tickets. I feel like everybody wants to go to gold class, but it's nearly $50 a ticket now, which is just crazy expensive. The only thing is, do we go see The Matrix or Spider-Man in gold class? Place your votes. Moving on to what my beautiful mother got me. Now she got all of us a candle because our cousin is starting up a candle business. So she obviously wanted us all to test it out. And I am obsessed with this. Not only is the packaging absolutely beautiful, but the scent of this, it's called school holiday cereal and it smells like Fruit Loops. I wish that there was smell-o-vision so you guys could smell this. I still held it out to you like you could smell it. But just imagine a bowl of Fruit Loops before you put the milk in, because otherwise it, I feel like the smell changes a little. Just, just you've just opened a fresh pack of Fruit Loops. Oh, I'm actually scared to burn this because it's gonna make me so hungry and it's gonna make me crave Fruit Loops. But I am obsessed with this. The scent is actually so strong you can pretty much just have it sitting there, looking pretty with the lid off, and you're gonna smell it. She also got me this cheeky little thing from Kmart because we were actually Christmas shopping together and I saw these and the moment I say something is cute with mum at Christmas time, she's like, oh, do you want it for Christmas? I'll buy for you for Christmas. I was like, mum, you don't have to, but I'm glad she did. These are absolutely adorable. So these were from Kmart and they're just little sort of like coffee tasters. So there's a cappuccino, an amaretto, French vanilla, Irish cream, salted caramel and mint mocha. So. I'm pretty excited to taste all these. I'm slowly getting into coffee, so I feel like this is perfect. It's got caramel, which is what I tend to drink, but then it'll be good to taste some other flavors. And if I don't like them, then someone else in this house will drink them because they are all massive coffee drinkers. But also I just thought the little cups were cute. Like when these are empty, I'm definitely keeping these little cups. The next thing is from my two sisters. And I said, I just wanted fluffy slippers. And I was thinking just, Cheapy Kmart slippers would have been fine, but they went all out and they absolutely spoiled me and they got me Ugg slippers. And I am so glad they did because these are the best things ever. I pretty much wore them for like five days straight after Christmas, but then we just got through a heat wave so I haven't been able to wear them. But the next few days are gonna be a bit cooler, which I'm very happy about because they're just so easy to slip on. You can even like go outside in them. So not like out, out, but you know, like say you're taking the bins out or something. So it's just better than socks. Socks you have to put on and take off, put on. If I get too hot, I just flick them off. And yeah, the next thing is from one of my sisters and she got me this cap here. Now I know that she got me this because it's holographic. If you guys have been around for a while, you know I am obsessed with holographic things. I just think it's so pretty. If I see anything holographic, I am very, very tempted to buy it. And if I had have seen this, I would have been tempted as well. So it has a little Eevee on the front, which is adorable. And I'm pretty sure I wore this for 90% of Christmas day as well. Like I opened it up and I was like, I need to wear this. So I love this. It is adorable and it's holographic. What more could I want? Now I realize when I do these videos, I'm like, and the next person and the next person and the next person. Just know that I have a really big family and there's a lot of siblings. So the next thing was for my brother and his family and they just got me a FPOS voucher. Now these are really good. I think they're a great gift because instead of having to figure out which shop someone wants a gift card for, you just give them this and you can use it absolutely anywhere. So 10 points to anyone who can guess where I'll probably use this. Yep, that's right. I'm probably going to use it at Glassons. <laughs> Moving on to my other brother and his partner, they got me this beautiful candle. Again, like the other one, the packaging is just stunning. I wouldn't even care if this smelled disgusting. Fortunately, it smells really, really nice. It says the scent is crystal waters, but it just, just smells really fresh and nice and clean and Oh, I can't even describe it. It says crisp greens, marine infused moss over blooms of blue lotus, sweet lily, coastal woods and pure ozone freshness. I don't know how to explain how this smells, but it just smells beautiful. <laughs> 
this, I can definitely tell this is not going to last very long. Now, one of the last things is from my Nana and tell me if your Nana does this too, because I feel like it's a very Nan thing. It is a Christmas card. Now, when we were younger, these came with money in them. Now it is just a card. Obviously the cards mean a lot to her and it's something special that she still wants to do. So regardless of whether there's money in it or not, I just think it's really cute that she still always gives us a Christmas card. Now, usually there wouldn't be a gift. This isn't technically a Christmas gift, but I wanted to show you anyway. She's been slowly sort of passing on a lot of her belongings over the past couple of years, and she wanted to give me this necklace. So I'm putting it in here as a Christmas present just because I got it on Christmas Day. So it is this beautiful necklace here. Like this is so pretty. <laughs> So as you can see, just a silver necklace with a blue gemstone. I still cannot for the life of me figure out what gemstone it is. I've asked a couple of people and no one knows because I think there's a lot of gemstones that are blue. So it's a mystery. If you guys think you know what it is, please let me know because I'm just curious. But honestly, this thing is so sparkly and pretty and beautiful. And if I wasn't already wearing 700 necklaces, I'd love to put it on right now, but it'll be nice to keep for maybe like weddings and I can sort of change up my necklaces for special occasions like that. So this is beautiful and I just, things from Nana's are just really special. Moving on to the last item. This is so special and I was so spoiled and I had no idea that I was getting this until only a few days before Christmas. So there is a girl called Katie180 who originally started watching my sister Ari on Twitch and then started watching I think probably April and then eventually filtered over to my channel and she's so wonderful like just such a sweet person and she got my sister a gift and then told me that she also got me a gift and my other sister so she got all three of us a Christmas present which she did not need to do and I just think that is so sweet so I thought what is this person who I've obviously never met going to get me? I just have no idea. Like I couldn't even fathom what it would possibly be. And I am blown away by what she chose. This is a perfect choice for me. So it is this Winnie the Pooh palette here. This is so cute. It is really, really beautiful inside. And there's like a little, I'll, I'll try and put a close up so that you don't get the reflection or I'll try and cover it. There's obviously the little characters there. And I just think, this looks so cute. I feel like she must have maybe done some research and seen that I love makeup. And honestly, I just think this is a perfect gift for me and I cannot wait to use it and just display it because it is so pretty. Who knows? I might even feature it in a cheeky YouTube video. So that is everything I got. And I said it at the start, I've said it a million times. I'll say it again. I'm so grateful for everything that I got. I was absolutely spoiled. People nailed the gifts. I feel like everyone just knows me really well and I couldn't be happier. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you are new and you can become a member of the channel, but there is no pressure. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.